Hello, um, and today I will be talking about my cultural confrontation project for World Literature B. Um, so for my cultural presentation project, I went down to a local refugee center in Twin Falls, Idaho, and it was an absolutely fascinating experience. I I kind of had a lot of like preconceptions about what the situation was with refugees. Um, but one of the things that was really interesting, um, both of the people who were in the staff really, um, one of them those names was Samuel and the other was named Zeze. Both of them are from the Democratic Republic of the Congo. And one of the things that both of them were um, talking about was the importance of um, people understanding the difference between uh, an immigrant and a refugee. You know, an immigrant is somebody who chooses to come and chooses to leave their country. Um, and a refugee is somebody who's forced out because of the situation that they're in. They can't live there. The refugee that I spoke to that was new, he got here three months ago. And he's from Sudan. His name is Amin. And he's from Sudan. If you look at the Freedom House Index, Sudan has a 10 out of 100 in human rights and South Sudan has a 1 out of 100 which is really really it's it's terrible and so um I'll play you some of the things that he had to say because they're absolutely fascinating Egypt, that's we being a refugee there and then we come to how long United were you State, there like eight years oh wow yeah yeah how can we as Americans help you as you're making this transition to living in our country, what are the best ways that we can help? Uh, first, I think uh, health mm -hmm. and schools, mm -hmm. and that's what I think, sports mm -hmm. and jobs. Right. Yeah. You welcome. How do we make you feel welcome here? Make a search in our traditions yeah. and know about uh, what we do and what we like and, mm -hmm. and things like this, and just try to make it for us. Then until we just use it out uh, to live in America. Yeah. And yeah. What are some of your hopes for your future? Uh, for now, I think, for now, I'm just uh, looking for a job mm -hmm. and to study. Mm -hmm. uh, after I study, then go to the university mm -hmm. uh, to get just a, dipl uh, a diploma from high school, then mm -hmm. study in uh, university. Mm -hmm. Then I get the certificate, then I find a job yeah, that I dream is. What was yeah. your life like in your home country? It was uh, really bad. We didn't get uh, any service. And we just holding each other mm -hmm. and trying to do the best uh, to live a mm -hmm. good life. Yeah. Well, yeah. We're glad that you're here. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> you're happy that you're here. Yeah, I'm really happy. <laughs> yeah? Really, yeah. What have been the biggest... Like, what makes you happy about being here? First, uh, when you're just uh, suffering and you find a hand that puts you out, that, mm -hmm. and you're really going to be happy, mm -hmm. and you feel safety, yeah. and you can do your dreams. America is like, give you a chance mm -hmm. uh, to do your dreams. So, yeah, that's what I see. So do you not have much opportunity where you were? In my country, I yeah. was never think about my dreams in Sudan because we all think uh, just we can never survive. do it. Yeah, just, just survive. survive. That's yeah. that's the only yeah. thing. It really fascinated me um, about what Amin had to say. Was these refugees? They never take the time to dream because they never think they're going to be able to get out of their situation, which to me is so sad. I can't imagine not being able to think about what I'm going to be able to do in the future. I think way too much about the future and I recognize that, but not having that ability to be all like, hey, I am able to do this, is that would be so hard. Like comparison to like the, the Chosen and what we learn about the Hasidic Jews, there's this dilemma where they're in a place and they're being forced out and they can't really move forward with what they believe in, you know? Both in the Sudan Democratic Republic of the Congo, their freedoms are very, very limited. And they came to America as refugees, you know, the Hasidic Jews came from Russia as and Poland as um, to the United States as refugees. 
um, because they had no opportunity, so there was no reason for them to stay there. And I think being able to provide that opportunity for people to have a life is so amazing. One of the things that um, the director, Zeze, was talking about was how when people come here, because of the things they've seen, they learn so fast. It's amazing what this will, this willpower that these refugees have to be people, like be real people. I think it's really important that we bring in these people and help them. And, you know, as I've gone down there and had this experience, I think that's definitely my main takeaway.